Is Lone Survivor really as good as Saving Private Ryan, or is that just bullshit? Let's find out in this review. It's bullshit. Lone Survivor isn't nearly as good as Saving Private Ryan, and I really didn't expect it to be, not by a long shot. But is it a good movie? That is the real question here. So Lone Survivor is the true story of four Navy SEALs sent in behind enemy lines to execute the Al-Qaeda leader Ahmad Shahad. Long story short, their mission doesn't go as they planned, and the four SEALs, played by Wahlberg, Foster, Hirsch, and Kitsch, some pretty weird last names at the end there, are left fighting for their lives. Lone Survivor is most definitely an action movie. I mean, it has its dramatic aspects, as every war movie does, but it focuses primarily on the action, and it's some pretty damn good action. To be honest, I was kind of skeptical about this movie because of the director, Peter Berg. I'm not too familiar with the guy's career, but I do know that he directed Battleship, so... There's that, I heard that wasn't very good, but I do think that he redeemed himself with Lone Survivor. The now infamous 40 minute shootout in Lone Survivor is directed to such intensity and brutality. There is one scene in particular that has stuck with me upon viewing, and that is the scene where they have to jump down the mountain. That shit was harsh. You could feel the impact of every blow against their bodies, and it, to be honest, I was cringing quite frequently during that scene, it was that brutal, you could say. And most importantly, the action is always entertaining. Berg always lets you know what's happening around the battlefield, and the body count is quite significant. I will say, however, that the pacing could have been a bit better. I thought that most everything up until the shootout was kind of boring, and it didn't really give me a lot of insight into the characters, and the whole movie is also shrouded by that classic military cheese and overwhelming sense of patriotism. But Lone Survivor is able to rack in some of the best performances I've seen from the entire cast. Emile Hirsch and Taylor Kitsch hadn't really impressed me until now, but I think that they both offered a lot to their roles. Ben Foster was great as always. Eric Bana's performance was definitely a step up from Closed Circuit, in my opinion. I think he uh, redeemed himself there. And Mark Wahlberg in this movie... Well, I liked Mark Wahlberg in this movie. I liked him a lot, and I like him in everything. I, I love the guy but I can't help but feel that he was maybe just slightly miscast. I don't know what it was. I mean, he's done the dramatic roles like this before, but I just could not take him seriously. I don't know what it was, but he just felt sort of weird in this movie. I don't know how to explain it. And the only other person that just annoyed me was Alexander Ludwig. I thought that, his, that he was just awkward and out of place. So, Lone Survivor is good. It's not the best, but it does serve up some nice action and does our fallen heroes justice. So, Lone Survivor gets a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Anyways guys, this is Loop Mix signing off. Please subscribe and do anything else you want to do with this video, and I will talk to you later.